This is a hook. It's also extremely useful for catching sheep. <laughs> I'm going banner towing with Simon Moores in his specially adapted Cessna 172. And fundamentally what happens is here you have the hook, okay? Nothing extravagant here. Safety snap, okay? Just in case it does grab the ground, that will go. Okay, very important safety link. That attaches to the Schweitzer connection, which will check and lock. Simon's a one-man band, preparing the banner, setting it up and flying the plane. I've been doing it for 12 years now. Um, lots and lots of banners. I think I've proposed to more women than any man alive. I lost count over 100 about five years ago. Uh, but we also do, as you know, things like the FA Cup. Um, you name it, we do it. On a patch of grass beside the runway at Rochester Aerodrome in Kent, Simon erects the poles 12 feet apart, between which the banner line will be suspended. I've got to get this aircraft, or the aircraft, between these two poles at exactly the right height to safely catch the line at about this height, but not hit the ground or not miss the line itself. So today we're using our standard Scrabble kit, uh, which are five foot letters, which can be reassembled into a frame. Uh, letters, numbers, characters, at signs, lots and lots of hearts. That's the banner, which is in a long frame and attached to the frame is close to 200 feet of rope. Um, well, rope, it's special nylon reinforced line. The hook is attached to a quick release mechanism near the passenger seat. The excess line loosely held with gaffer tape. So what's Simon's technique for successfully capturing the banner? There'll be a normal departure off runway 3 here, 4 here at Rochester. I'll probably ask you to release the hook. There'll be a, a release just between your legs on the co-pilot side. Um, once the hook comes down, then we'll check to make sure the hook is there. We get into the circuit, drop 10 degrees of flap, slow it down, carb heat, make sure that everything's correct there, and then do a, an approach into the banner area, which is parallel to the side of the runway. I'll come down to initially about 30 feet. I'll be looking for fundamentally a platform height because I have to guess how high the hook is above the ground, but I want to make sure the hook catches the line. I don't want the hook to catch the ground. Airspeed alive. Increasing. Up we come. Release, please. Can't quite get. It's gone. It? Yeah. Okay. You just put it in the back seat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had one job to release the hook, but the seatbelt was stopping me leaning forward to grab it. I got there in the end. We'll check the hooks down in just a second. I'm just going to lower my flap, put my carp heat up, come round. And you will make sure the circuit is clear at the moment. That's great. Thank you, Kelvin. So, uh, on this side, I'm just going to look for my hook. So, I'm just going to yaw the aircraft a bit. Hold on. Yep, the hook is down. Round we come. Okay, I've got the altitude I want. You'll see it looks quite small until the last moment. Right. Uniform X-ray is downwind for the pickup. Okay. So checks we have. The hook is down. Not really heat. We have 10 degrees of flat. Both sides agree. Now we come. X-ray turning base. What happens next is the result of years of practice. Excellent judgment and maybe just a little bit of good luck. Uniform 
X-ray final pickup. Longo, your discretion, 3-4. Surface wind, uh, variable of 5 at the moment, 0 one zero at 5. Okay, platform high, I'm looking for 70, not much wind, so I need to slow it down a bit, just a bit quick. AC still too fast. Here we are, speed is coming back. Hold the platform. Hold the platform. Speed is good. Power. 70 hour to hold. You've got it. Roger. Oh, well done. Look behind. Target, I have it. Right. You can see it, can you? Yep. Thank you, Kelvin. That's great. Yeah, can't tell you if it's the right way up yet. Yeah. Ian's turn. I'm happy with that. Okay, off to Dammit's Hall. Thank you. About 60 minutes. Okay. Well done. So, speed, 70. Bring it back a bit. And so now we're going to hold her. Watching the engine temperatures. Obviously, uh, you're on board, so performance is dropping a bit. And obviously, you've got the full load as well. But I want to get up to my 1,000 feet. Cross the Thames. 70 is good. T's and P's are good. Landing light comes off. Everything's up. Flaps are down. Temperatures are good. OK, here comes the 1,000 feet. And now, we're going to loiter. And you fly with the flaps down? Yeah. Right. Uh, for a number of reasons, obviously, because we're at a slow speed. Yeah. And also, for the deck angle, for cooling. And as long as I'm on the speed, and I'm not going over 70, because I don't want to trash the banner. Yep. Don't want to fly too fast. Or too slow. Things can go wrong in banner towing. Uh, because you're dealing very close to the stall, and you're flying very close to the ground, with a large washing line behind the aircraft with a huge amount of drag as well. Simon says that stalling the aircraft after the pickup is a mistake novices will make. There's also a risk of getting the line wrapped around the elevator. There are procedures for dealing with this emergency. So in, term, in terms of uh, low flying, you know, over a congested area, it's going to be a thousand feet, isn't it, over this, over this park where these people are? Yeah, but not over. Within. For the benefit of my friends at the Civil Aviation Authority, we are going around it. And because it's more than 50,000 people, so we're a thousand feet, making sure that we are in an area where we can safely drop the banner and land the aircraft. Yeah. 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 And paying absolute attention to all the safety issues that are required of me as an operator under the CAA. Mm. We arrive at the festival at Damons Hall. South End, Gulf Uniform X-rays uh, just coming on detail. I'm going to be working this area for about 60 minutes. So, you see I'm working around the outside of it. Yeah. Where they can see me best. And as you see, um, funnily enough, this is really an, an uncongested area. Look at it. So there's lots of space. If anything happens. Yeah. yeah, lots of space to work. I mean, you've got to try in a minute, you'll, you'll notice that you've got to keep yeah, hand on the rudders of the, the yoke all the time because she's she wants to do something on her own. Yeah. So she need, you need to put attention on her. Yeah, just crossing 12 o'clock, 2 miles right 2,000 feet westbound is a system. So I'm just going to move away from the festival a bit. Do they get habituated to it? We're just going to wander around the town. Okay, temperatures are good. See, it's coming at all temperatures on the M at the moment, so it's quite high. Soon as the head temperatures within normal. 60 minutes of going around in circles, and it's time to call it a day. Right, so we are now uh, complete. We've been an hour running around here. It's going to take us 10 minutes to get back to Rochester. Drop the banner, go down, and uh, probably have a cup of tea. <laughs> You've got some other lever to drop the banner, have you? Ah, oh. oh, that. Oh, I see. That's the one. That's the big one. Don't touch. Don't touch it. Right. You, you should have told me that before. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> Not now. 
they might get the message. There's a, there's, a, there's a place for everything, and this place is over there. Yeah. Uh, right. I don't want the message. The message with impact. Let's oh, have look. the message and no impact. I've just seen your uh, British Rail sign. The runway at Rochester has changed since we departed. They're now on 02, so Simon will approach 02, then do a tight left turn towards the grass where he picked up the banner. Get up on X-ray, turning final for 02 uh, with a left hand turn, 3 4 drop. Q43, discretion 02, 010. So there's 02, going to just slightly point away from it. There's the banner, there's the banner. Right. I've got to come around the corner on it. There are the posts, I might not get it between the posts because of the turn. There's a very small space. Okay, power comes in. Around we come. Don't drop it on the street. It's going to bleed off fast. I got down to cross three four. Roger oh, cross three four. Cross three four, I got down to. Good. Get information ready going around to land. Information. Oh, done, it's on the ground? Yeah. Just on the path. I was on the turn, it just hit that path bit by the fence. Yeah. Here we go. You weren't joking when you said <laughs> tight. What a fantastic experience that was. A great day out. For Simon, it's another job done. Good day, banner towing, Simon. I think that was arguably a great success. Notice that we didn't actually drop the banner on the road. It was a close thing, but hey, I'll accept miracles. Thank you for uh, letting me come along. That was really, in really interesting. You're welcome. Um, There's more to it than people would imagine. Yes, total insanity, as you probably gathered, but uh, it works. Thank you for watching. I'll be back soon. My next video will be my epic trip from Biggin Hill to Dundee. Bye for now.